Salutations, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. I'm Lord Forend, and we're still here in the Realms in Exile, the Lord of the Rings mod. We are still playing as the Blue Mountain Dwarves. However, our queen has now lived, after quite a while, to 42. Is not dead yet. So I am thinking it is time to attack Sauron for something. Um, we could steal like one area. We're probably not going to be able to take a lot of land from Sauron. My logic is though, if we can beat him in a war or even two wars, as long as they're not close, we can assume I would be able to wipe him off the map completely given time. Um, and I may call it after that. We'll see how it goes. We're going to declare Holy War for Lorien. Why Lorien? Because I can give it to the elves under my rule, and hopefully I can get a little bit of a buffer state. Um, more importantly, it will direct the fighting towards this area, so I may fight in the East Hall here with the Bridge of Khazad Doom because I get a stupidly huge defensive modifier. But let's see how that's going to go first. So, raise all here. The war begins. Probably should have made a backup save. That might have been very stupid of me. Okay. Thankfully, we can't actually lose anything um, for Sauron. Uh, the worst, we have to pay him a ton of money. But considering Sauron's bank account already, he's as rich. Well, he's not as rich as us, but he's right up there. Okay, now we've got a lot of combat strength at, at sieging, so we should take this area very quickly. And just like that, we've smashed Sauron's army. At least once. Awesome. Now it's just a matter of winning a couple more fights, continuing to overwhelm his defenses. I don't even think we're going to have to do much else. It looks like we'll win the war with a single battle, maybe. If we're lucky. I wonder if Galadriel survived. If so, I could give her back her territory. Now, of course, the problem is... Uh, she's probably ended up in the west somewhere. Just knowing how the elves seem to all go and come from Valinor at will in this mod. Victory is ours. Just like that, Sauron has already started to fall. Of course, all this land was now given to me. Um, let's see if we can find, 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 find. Uh, da -da. We're looking for character. Nope. Gladrium culture. We only have one person with that. This elven culture may only be granted holdings with an elven refuge. Oh, well. I tried. It's too bad. Oh, wait. Can I make a holy order? No, because I used up all my piety. Darn. Okay, well, I can always hold on to one until I get more piety. I suppose. Okay, so we can beat Sauron in a war. Um, we can't declare war on him for a while, though. Five years. So let's try see if this guy can shorten any truces. Oh, we inherited some land. So apparently I've been afraid of Sauron for honestly no reason for this whole time because that was easy to win <laughs> could i force this guy into this one a client state could i client state a nascal yeah let's give it a shot since we're near the end we already know if we can beat sauron we can almost definitely beat the nascal let's see if we can client state a nascal I mean, he won't be loyal at any, any 
measure of the imagination, but it'd be kind of funny to force the Nazgul to serve us. Serve under us, I should say. Or if when I win, he immediately disappears. In which case, we might be able to destroy Dil Guldur. It's a shame I can't, like, vassalize Thranduil, because then I could refeed him his territory. Okay, should be a quick and vicious war here. Yeah, this is just easy. I've been worried about Sauron this whole time when I probably could have smashed him five episodes ago. Pretty stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But it goes to show you Dwarven troops are strong. And Sauron's men-at-arms are not optimized in any way, shape, or shape of your imagination or anything. I now have a client state of Dul Guldur. He hates us. Or I did. Oh, did I lose that? Oh, they are. Su I am their suzerain. Oh, we get gold from them. 1.2 gold a turn. That'd be really, really nice. To be able to subdue Thranduil. Um, maybe if I swap. Maybe if I swap. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe if I swap over to diplomacy, I might be able to do force vassalization. Maybe then I could regain some of the other stuff. Well, we know we can beat Sauron now, right? Sauron's got very little hope of stopping us at this point. Um, so, I mean, we could just declare victory and go home. Because I don't particularly want to try and retake all that with duchy holy wars. I mean, seriously, that's going to take forever. Uh, oh, wait, we can hold court. Let's hold at least court once. No, get a bodyguard. Don't want to hold a feast. Business is done. Awesome. Still can't colonize Erebor because we don't we're not capable of getting there. Yeah, we still can't get there. Although we can make a jump down there, or of course we could colonize any of these. It's quite frustrating. Ah, let's at least end our regency. There we are. The smiths with the wave of our hand. Hmm. Wish I could pull some of these guys under my control. Our character is engaged to be married, but can't get married till, I think, 70 or 80, somebody said in the comments, which seems about right. Why are we losing all this money all of a sudden? Oh, look at it, what happened. Gosh, it's it got screwed up again. How annoying is that? And now it's disabled all of these until, for another... Because we're over domain limit, they're all disabled. How stupid. Okay, well, on that note, I think I'm going to call it here. We can beat Sauron. I do not want to live through another one of these messes. I think partially it's because I got rid of my regent that this all came about again. So I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys all for watching. It was a fun run. We managed to recreate... Oh wait, let's switch our main title to Kaza Doom. Make primary. There we go. Now we look impressive, right? We've recreated the Dwarven Realm. We've are easily able to smash Sauron. That was actually kind of pathetic how easy it was. And uh, there's, we've saved the elves of the West, at least. Eventually, we'd destroy Sauron, but 
I'm not going to play through another 50 episodes. So thank you guys all for watching. It has been fun. It's been frustrating. It's been amusing, like when Elrond got eaten by a troll. And uh, I still have no idea who was the crazy murderer who went absolutely berserk murdering everybody we seemed to have a relationship with. The odds are it was our grandfather, to be honest, because he claims our throne and stuff. So uh, it's been fun. We'll probably do another run on this. I'm... I've got a couple ideas for where to go. I'm thinking maybe something over here. Figure out what this whole Dragon Knight's deal is. There's a unique character over there. We could play down south in somewhere like Belakar Ray, but they're less interesting. Um, we could do an Arnor Aragorn. We could try Saruman the, of his own independent order again. Um, maybe I'll even do Gondor again just to see how that all works out. Although they are going to improve Gondor in the future according to some of their di dev diaries. They're going to allow people like the stewards to become king if they accomplish stuff, which would be cool. And sadly, Dale, which looks to be very interesting, really isn't. I've tried playing it a little bit. So, see you guys all in another series. Hope you've enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. If you never did, subscribe so you don't miss any more. And I'll see you all next time in another video, series, or live stream. Bye for now.